like it has ever been tried before. A massive rescue and relocation of thousands of sea turtle eggs along Alabama's coast. That Gulf oil spill forced wildlife officials to react quickly to design an evacuation plan or to lose the next generation of one of the Earth's most threatened species. WFF 48 News anchor Liz Hurley was there when the first turtle nest left Alabama for a chance to live. It's moving day here on West Beach and Gulf Shores for Alabama's first sea turtle nest. It's a huge undertaking by just a few people to try to fool Mother Nature to save some tiny turtles. It's risky, it's tedious, and there are no guarantees it's going to work. 52 nights ago, the surf rolled in on Laguna Key. And with it came a mother-to-be, a loggerhead turtle who laid 127 eggs right here. Here's the eggs. This nest is Alabama's first of the season. Beautiful eggs. Aren't they though? Jan Taylor found it. It's joyful and elation, and it's also a little sorrowful. Should we be singing the turtle song? This is all bittersweet for Jan. <laughs> Swimming in the ocean. For two months, she's been hovering over this nest, counting down the days to its big move to the Kennedy Space Center. <laughs> now, her final job? Egg number one. Counting eggs. 24. 49. You're going to put it in this box now, Sherry. One by one, Jan and fellow volunteers from Share the Beach remove each egg and delicately put it in a labeled styrofoam box in the same position it rested in in the nest. Careful to match distance and sand. 35 pounds of beach so they'll know where to call home. I know they're not our turtles, but we kind of, you know, in a way we consider them our turtles and we're sending them away for their for their safekeeping and hopefully they'll come back in 18, 20 years and lay their own nest. Standing by to transport these eggs and all the others on this mission This is our Qualcomm communications is this husband and wife team with their special turtle truck a fully loaded climate controlled critical care tractor trailer donated by FedEx. We're privileged and honored to do it. And so are Jan and Mike and all the others saving the tiniest oil spill victims Victims, one cooler at a time. In Gulf Shores, Liz Hurley, WAFF 48 News. Now, Alabama's first sea turtle nest arrived tonight at the Kennedy Space Center. We'll let you know when they hatch and are released. Biologists expect about 98% to arrive alive in Florida, but say unfortunately 2% will actually, only 2% will actually live to reach maturity and come back to Alabama. Uh, they'll know for sure one day because they're tattooing this year's hatchling.